This is where it all begins, where dreams become ideas that become solutions for the world. This is where student innovation creates better testing for jaundice in the developing world, where future MBAs partner with students across ASU to help the city of Tempe plan for a carbon neutral future, where NGOs and agencies leverage faculty expertise to help areas hard hit by humanitarian crises where our research goes to space to help NASA create more efficient, more effective teams. The W.P. Carey School of Business at Arizona State University is one of the largest and highest ranked business schools in the country. Our alumni lead businesses and communities in more than 160 countries, and each year more than 16,000 students join us on campus and online around the world. Named in honor of our benefactor, the late investor and philanthropist William Polk Carey, the W.P. Carey School was founded in 1955. Today, we're internationally recognized for the quality of our programs, our students, and our faculty, which includes a Nobel Prize winner. We measure success not by who we exclude, but who we include, welcoming students from six continents and countless backgrounds every year. This is where business is personal, where connections are built between students and our faculty, staff, alumni, and the broader W.P. Carey community with one vision, to create leaders who rethink the nature of business, engage the world, and build a better future. We're proud that you are part of our W.P. Carey Sun Devil community. And now, to begin the Class of 2020 W.P. Carey Convocation, Please welcome the Dean of the W.P. Carey School of Business, Amy Hillman. No matter what you expected celebration to be like, today we are celebrating achievement. This is an achievement that not many people can claim. Last year, only 33% of all Americans had degrees from four-year universities, despite the overwhelming evidence that education is a path to prosperity. In the U.S. today, there are more people with some college credits then there are college graduates. And for those of you who are celebrating your graduate degree today, you are in even rarer company. You did it, you finished, congratulations. While you all have a lot to celebrate today, your hard work isn't over. As graduates of one of the top business schools in this country, we need you. We need you to be in the spotlight. We need you to show your coworkers your families and your communities, that businesses are a force for good. In surveys of the American people, business people are among the least respected professions, often ranking lower than politicians. But we are not corrupt, money-hungry thieves who make for interesting media coverage. We are not the stuff of scandals. We are hardworking, ethical, and we create jobs, meaning for employees, value for our customers and our suppliers. Retired Navy Admiral Hyman Rickover's words inspire me and I hope they inspire you as you think about the next chapter of your lives. You leave here today with a profession, a vocation, but having a vocation means more than putting in the hours at work. It means guarding against banality, ineptitude, incompetence and mediocrity. We all should strive to become a locus of excellence. Knowing what we ought to do is easy. It's doing it that is difficult. You leave here today knowing a lot, but the critical issue is not what you know today or what you will learn in the future, but what you will do with what you know. How, for example, will you guard against mediocrity, ineptitude, and incompetence? Will you accept the responsibility to hold yourself and others to a higher standard? Will you help encourage and develop those around you? The proof will be in your actions, not your intentions. To be committed to excellence, to seek and accept responsibility, to persevere, to be creative and courageous, to be unrelenting in the pursuit of intellectual development, to maintain high standards of ethics and morality, and to bring these basic principles to bear through your actions in life. This is the greatest of achievements of our vocations and our lives. So today, we celebrate you. 
but we also challenge you. It is within each of our ability to show through our actions that our profession is one of a calling. Businesses form the economies of the world. We not only focus on creating value for our shareholders, but all of our stakeholders. We care about our employees. We care about our coworkers. We care about our customers. We care about our suppliers. We care about the environment. We will leave this planet better than we received it. Will you seek and accept this responsibility? Will you, through every single action in your lives, not only at work, maintain the highest standards of ethics and morality? Will you never be satisfied with what you know today and always pursue intellectual development? Will you persevere even when times are hard, when you think you cannot any longer? Will you be creative, innovative, and courageous? Of course you will. You are the W.P. Carey School of Business Class of 2020 graduates. Go make us proud. Congratulations, W.P. Carey Class of 2020. My name is Will Carey, and I am the chairman of the W.P. Carey Foundation. I'm grateful to be here with you today during such a tumultuous time to celebrate what we can accomplish when we think big. My uncle, Bill Carey, was the benefactor of the business school. He was a very successful businessman, an impactful philanthropist, but he came from humble beginnings. Born in Baltimore, Bill had an entrepreneurial spirit, selling ink and soda as a young boy. He graduated from the Wharton School of Business at the University of Pennsylvania and then served in the Air Force. He later worked at a car dealership before becoming head of investment banking and equipment leasing at DuPont Clark Lorgan. It was these building blocks that helped him create the sale leaseback, which eventually formed the basis of his strategy as an investor. Bill took this leasing model and applied it to real estate finance and founded WP Carey Inc. in 1973. This forward thinking reimagination of existing assumptions drove his success and it can also drive yours. As you embark on this next chapter in life, ask yourselves, what ideas can be reimagined today? How can you have a positive impact on your community? In which ways can you do good while doing well? This last year has highlighted the urgency with which we must pursue big ideas. From the pandemic sweeping across the globe to social and political unrest, to the ever increasing specter of climate change. The time is now to step forward as civically minded business leaders whose forward thinking can and will create a sustainable path forward. Your education in the WP Carey School has taught you how to do this. Big ideas are baked into the bones of this university and they're baked into you. Bill Carey was not the only person in my family to have large ideas. My great great grandfather, John S. Armstrong, saw the potential of a new type of school in the American West when he introduced legislation to found the Tempe Normal School in 1885, which later became your Arizona State University. Today, President Michael Crow's foresight throughout his tenure has helped create a new American university that has been named number one in innovation six years running. Big ideas got us all here and class of 2020, we cannot wait to see where your big ideas will take us into the future. Thank you for allowing me to celebrate with you today and congratulations on your accomplishments. The Carry Code celebrates the visionary leaders who built this school from the ground up, like Bill Carey, John Armstrong, and the 100,000 alumni in your network. The code recognizes alumni achievements, lifelong learning, career advancement, and future forward thinking. It is a testament to the hallmark traditions, principles, and values this community has always emulated. Above all, it is the commitment that we all make to support one another now and always. And that promise has never been more relevant than it is in 2020. The Carey Code is a promise to advocate for the success of every W.P. Carey Sun Devil. 
alumni, students, staff, faculty, and friends, no matter where they come from or what they look like. Because we measure ourselves by who we include and how they succeed. And when we bring all we have to offer to the world around us, our potential is truly limitless. Please join me in reciting the Carey Code. I am a W.P. Carey Sun Devil for life. I enrich our legacy by living our values of excellence, integrity, impact, and community. I demonstrate that business is personal by treating others with respect. I advocate for diversity, equity, and inclusion with my voice and through action. I champion fellow Sun Devils by volunteering my time, talent, and treasure. I embrace and exhibit ethical business practices, and together we will spark positive change in the world by doing good while doing well.